My Hair Academia, Season 6, Episode 25, Final Episode. Hard to believe. It's been such a was crazy and hurting. season. Imagine All Might watching the sign, seeing the sign. The reality is, you've been holding him back. Great job, All Might. Oh no, oh no, not, not All Might too. And all the concern about Deku, I don't think I reflected on the severity of the crisis All Might is going through. To be this kind of figure, someone who has been so capable, has changed the world, has been a hero to so many, to be stripped of your powers, to literally stand in front of a, a symbol of you, a statue of you, commenting on the fact that you've abandoned your, your people, and to watch as your protege, someone you're supposed to take care of, bears the full weight of your absence in the, the current state of the world. It sucks, it's painful. It seems to me like this is something you don't see very often. It's kind of like the, the part two of the hero story. Typically the movie or show ends and the heroes completed their arc and then there's kind of like this lives happily ever after feeling. But I think in the context of real life, it makes more sense to think about it as arcs closing. But that isn't like a, a one-time solve for a person's character or soul. You can be like the greatest, most epic person who ever lived in a time period and then go on to have crises. You know, there, there's like these, this weird cycle to life in that way. It feels like it's forever when you're in the moment, whether that moment is great or terrible. But despite the insane life he's lived, this is yet another arc for All Might. You hate to see it. And I think Stain's right. Yeah, there he is. Stain's been following this? him. Have you come to blaspheme against a great hero? I think not, heretic. Heretic? Here I thought he was going to ask for an autograph. Quite a bit has happened since you were put away. So interesting. Right. You lie. Interesting attitude from All Might. I don't blame you for thinking that I'm lying. Little quick demonstration. Who are you to claim the title of hero? Speak! Pretending. Sure. That's not far off. It's two lives, I don't know. Even though I was powerless, I had to take action. I wanted to improve society. <laughs> so you can hear it. Is it me or does this feel like bonding? I am a failure. Watching everyone else become true heroes. What if Stain gives All Might hope? That's fake out. I'm usually a hugger, but we just met. <laughs> All Might still bringing some sass. When are they gonna cut this out? Yeah, some people remember. Every day without fail, she cleans this statue the hero haters love to defile. Do we just become best friends, All Might and Stain? She's the last person All Might saved. <gasps> Oh, oh, what? Don't lose. Keep going. Oh, man, the callbacks in the show are unreal. All Mike smiled as he faced the insurmountable. That didn't have anything to do with his power. Oh, my God. You obviously have no idea who he was. Coming from Stain, of all people, this talk, and no lies were told. The smoldering embers he left behind won't be easily extinguished. They are fueled by the select few who live in his image. Before long, they will form a Who is new this guy? unstoppable blaze. <laughs> this is unreal. Use this information I took from Tartarus. And when you've finished, make sure you track me down and put an end to Stain. The vigilante who killed 40 heroes. Is this some kind of penance? For the sake of forging a better society. Whoa, what? I don't know what I'm just... Wa I don't know what... Well, I'm... I'm stunned. I'm speechless. The rain's clearing up. <laughs> what in the world? Uh, that was the best thing that I never expected. Stain gets it. He gets the show, I think. There have been a lot of examples this season of this thing I love, which is the protege or the receiver of help or the receiver of wisdom or inspiration, getting the opportunity to give back, which is as much or more of a gift for them than it is for the, the mentor. Because to have someone who's helped you to that degree, it's beautiful, it's great. There's also a crushing weight to it. You know, there's like this weight of responsibility of, can I ever match that that gift? Can I ever live up to it? You know, watching this scene, it's making me realize that there has to be one with Deku as well. There has to be a, a closing of that loop where Deku rescues All Might or something to that effect. As great as it was from Stain, I feel like it would be even, even more moving, more inspiring coming from Deku himself. I mean, it's very on brand with All Might's character in general, right? Like he is someone who has trouble accepting help or being helped or leaving anything to anyone else. Part of the growth that has to happen for his character is the is the growth that's kind of happening around him that he's not realizing until Stain is trying to point it out, which is that 
it's okay to trust people with that burden because often they would like to take it on. That is their way of contributing to this very legacy that they all cherish. It's weird to say, and obviously my life has a lot lower stakes than All Might's, but as I was saying earlier, I, I feel very potently this kind of cycle of things where as much as I would like to conceptualize this thing where the good you do or the things you're you're proud of or feel like are great accomplishments kind of stack and create a, a baseline you can rest on and gain some kind of value for your life from perpetually. While that may be true to a certain extent, it's not really enough. Like your past accomplishments and things you've done don't insulate you or, or totally protect you from moments of severe low or moments where you feel like you're you're failing, which is kind of crazy to think about, right? Like it's crazy to think someone like All Might could be in a place where he feels worthless given everything he's done, but I so get it and I think it's right. And I know that in those moments, it's really easy for the darkness to escalate where you feel like you've, you've lost yourself or you no longer are who you once were. Things are pointless. You'll never get back to a place of being good again, where actually I think it's probably just part of a natural series of arcs, right? Some of it is circumstance. Some of it is that arcs in general, personal arcs are about really important key growth through something like sacrifice, through facing difficult or seemingly impossible things, and then gaining the, the wisdom or the resources or whatever it is to conquer them. And that closes that issue. But since a person's range of potential is, is so, let's say, infinite, there are always more adventures. And I think states like this are probably just the symbol of the starting of one. That's one way of conceptualizing it that gives me some peace of mind. And so then the question is, which Stain alluded to, what are you going to do about it? And that spirit, if you've done it once, if you have the spirit or could muster the spirit, it means it's still there. That part of you is still you. It's still in your capability, you know, because it wasn't easy the first time either. Your first time, your first hero arc, let's call it, probably started at a low point as well. And you took the challenge and did what you needed to do. There's no doubt in my mind that that's who All Might is and that's where he's going. It just took a reminder from a very, very unlikely and great source. Episode 25, No Man is an Island. I want that water scorching hot! Let's heat it up! Strip it We're also down. on Deku duty. Deku bath time? I feel like they're carrying the collective energy that they need, that Deku Inside. needs. Didn't need that, but all right. It's for Deku. We all got to sacrifice. You extras are my rivals. I don't know, normalcy is good. And you know I'm mostly talking to you, right, De uh, Izuku? Wow, I mean, that's for me, all I hear is love. <laughs> Using his name. Let's gang up and dunk Bakugo. No way, shorty. Bold of him. Mineta, bravest character confirmed. Once she stopped worrying, the adrenaline wore off. Some of the others are out too. That's good. She did good work. She probably hasn't a solid, had a solid night's sleep in months or however long this arc is. I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. Stop Keeping apologizing, damn it. Almost that whole time. Super lame. Ooh. The bright side is after reading your bonkers confession. We're like dorming together again. Me. It feels so good so normal oh it's also really cool that like this is just open now we can share this there's no more secrets between us we all have questions but midori is tired let the guy get some rest They're all being so nurturing one of the main reasons we brought him back that's how it is now you walk in a room with posing for pictures yo do i look cool hard no bro <laughs> wow Mineta's coming for everyone this episode i acted pretty terribly towards all night and i haven't apologized that yeah that does need to happen but not necessarily an apology Oh god, outside? he looks like Deku did a couple episodes ago. I am here to apologize for not being of any use. Who can apologize harder? Lost sight of who I was. It happens. I thought it it's was all no good. longer a hero. And then Stain. Stain did it. Even if all I can do is crawl, I'll still fight. There you go. That's 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 all my spirit. Fire raging in their hearts with my own eyes. And that's all my fire too, to a large degree. The food you brought me gave me the strength to keep going. I'm sure that the I ultimate support items. I distance myself from you. So from now on, we fight side by side. Let's protect the world. Allman also was kind of isolating himself with his thoughts. I'll show these kids that I can stand by their side. Yeah, and he's going to be great at that. And they're going to be so much better for having him around. If nothing else, like if he does nothing, which won't happen because he's All Might, they just love him. So him bringing his All Might spirit is already just a huge boost. Imagine being on All Might's team in any capacity. You got to be out of your mind to not value that. And only All Might can't see that. Please tell Hawks he could at least send me a text message. Right. Oh. I'll pass that on. It's getting a little clingy there. <laughs> he's getting left on red. Someone finally calmed down enough to get some sleep. As no surprise he'd fall asleep in the common room surrounded by friends. I know people are skeptical about me being here too. Can't blame them. Yeah, it sucked last episode. He was the only one who couldn't like step out and, you know, support Deku. Kind of hurt to see Todoroki sit on the sidelines like that in, a, in that kind of moment. I'll do my best to regain everybody's trust. <laughs> Not that chivalry! You're making me cry badly, tears! I don't see any NPCs here in this room. Invisible Girl's not here though. <laughs> Neither is Aoyama. During the school festival, there were plenty of people who were on the fence about us. 
We wanted to find a way to reassure them, remember? Oh, I remember. I remember. I will never forget the school festival as long as I live. I'm looking forward to the school school festival arc part two. We won't just go back to normal. We'll make it better oh, than there she it was is. before. I'm sorry, Invisible Girl, again. If we can do this together, we'll go beyond. But Noyama, man, thinking about the kind of growth they're all doing, like all of them, in the final part of season six, makes me think that Shigaraki slash All for One's biggest mistake was giving them this time to unite. That's probably going to prove to be fatal. As much as it makes sense that he's like recharging or whatever, he doesn't realize the power of their combined strength. We received Tartarus security records from Stain, who gave them to All Might along with an overzealous love letter to our symbol of peace. <laughs> I would love to read that love letter. I never thought that the hero killer would end up being some sort of ally. Right? Hero killer Stain, are you a man or a monster? Someone who wants to bring about a better world, but a monster still. <laughs> Stain's getting such a great glow up this episode. He looks so cool. But in all my years dealing with the synchronization, I've never experienced it working the other way around. Except in one recent moment. In the hospital, when I touched Midoriya. Okay, that's interesting. Close enough anyway. I wonder where this is, what this is building towards. Shigaraki would be complete in 38 days. <sighs> but that's reports from Central said it'd be two months. Pretty close. To where we are now, it's like eight days away, right? These private communications between his body and consciousness revealed the actual the truth. Schedule. Yeah. Wow. There's not a whole lot of time. All for one's vessel will be complete in about three days. Three days. But you know what? We're ready. Bring it on. Bring it on. We're more united than ever. A mountain of paperwork is required to dispatch heroes overseas. But and not the paperwork. Power is determined by the strength of its heroes. Deploying them abroad upsets. Oh, is this, is this U.S.? Is it U.S.? UN or something? Let's make this web worldwide. Big red dot in my country is also. Oh boy, oh boy, there's gonna be a lot of personalities. I can't yeah, wait to see so the American number one. Left already. Mm -hmm. Apparently she couldn't stand to wait around. Is this the US? Oh 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 it was oh. a question of whether or not I would have My God. Yes. <laughs> If my master's got himself in trouble, <laughs> why would I even think twice? Star and Stripe, hell yeah, this is the most American thing I've ever seen. The only thing that would have made that scene better is the, the theme from Team America World Police. Which means now, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, some trauma there, for sure. You're not full safe and sound back at UA. Put those things away, they look gross. And that has got jokes. <laughs> He already looks better. We'll put an end to despair and go beyond. He said it again, finally. It's been a while. Man, what a season. Oh, I'm gonna miss this show. Damn, I don't like, what am I gonna do without it? When does season seven come out next week? It's funny how optimistic I feel despite <laughs> how like season six started and how crazy it was and the danger that we still face. It just feels a lot different. Give me a preview or something, damn it. <laughs> No, oh, I need more. I need more now. It's pretty amazing to me. I'm a very, very strong believer in the idea that expectations are everything. You know, if you expect nothing, you're often pleasantly surprised. And if you're expecting like the ultimate whatever, you're lucky if the thing even meets your expectations, let alone surpasses it. I went into My Hero Academia season six with sky high expectations because first of all, I just love the show, right? I love the characters. I love everything that's built. I felt these narrative arcs sort of being twisted together and was waiting for the payoff of them being realized. To my pleasant surprise and shock, this season absolutely blew my expectations out of the water. Maybe I'm suffering from recency bias a little bit on this, but I remember when this season started, you know, the first handful of episodes, the, the raid, the big fight, it was something really special for me because it was something you've been waiting for and dreading all this time. The students and the characters had the luxury of living in relative well, not safety, but it didn't feel this bleak, right? Like there was always kind of a safety net. There was a structure. It was the students fighting battles, but you know, they had Hero World at their backs. They had society at their backs to a large extent, which sort of enabled them to have these really heartwarming moments and times of peace and opportunities to build these friendships, which is arguably my favorite part of the show. To have that ripped away that viscerally and violently was really painful, but also really riveting. But even with that being said, I think the, the latter half of season six was even better because it created the challenge that has been kind of lurking there this whole time, right? 
there's been so many problems that have been laid into the, the foundation of the show. All Might's just responsible for way too much. People kind of live in a, a blissful ignorance, putting everything on the hero's shoulders, and there's no accountability. The kids are, you know, they're in perilous situations, but they're still kids and they're enjoying school festivals and the like. And yet it all goes to hell. And so that creates, in a sense, the biggest challenge for them and for that very spirit. It's like, can they rebuild? Can they come back to something that looks like strength or do they all crumble? And we watch realistically a lot of people absolutely get destroyed in this whole process. This season really showed who was who. And there's some surprises in there, right? Like Giant Lady. I never would have thought of her as one of the, you know, the ultimate heroes. I had her pegged from the beginning as like, you know, social media attention seeker. A lot of people giving their lives like Midnight. Too many heroes to name lost their lives. And then you also have the legacy heroes, many of whom were in the top 10 who just, you know, fade into the ether because they just can't cope. So with that stage being set, the heroes who had been kind of burned in the flames of this horrible incident used that same spirit and rebuilt themselves out of the ashes even stronger and even better and more resolutely and more clearly in keeping with the themes that have been so, so expertly crafted and built since episode one, season one. While I'm sure there's still a lot of great things to come, season seven also has me in a state of crazy anticipation. There's still a lot of really great challenges that have a lot of opportunity for wonderful moments, like Deku actually trying to save Shigaraki, which I think is going to be amazing. Nevertheless, it's hard for me not to feel like in a certain sense, this season was the show's climax, or at least it's kind of moral resolution that gives strength to aid in the power of the climax because they have a really difficult battle ahead of them. While I expected the season to be more action-oriented and more the dark side of things, amazingly, I think what that ended up doing was making or forcing this to be that kind of moral, thematic, powerful culmination of all their character growth, all the themes that have been set, the true meaning of heroism, the fact that it's no longer just an individual effort, the clarification of that whole greatest hero thing. And so I feel like, as I said, despite everything that's happened, despite the fact that we still face one of the greatest dangers we've ever faced, to me, I, I end this season feeling optimistic, as crazy as it is to say. As much as I love the show, as much as I tried to pay attention to the various thematic underpinnings of the writing, I think it was actually doing more and is more expertly crafted than I anticipated. Like, it's so tight. There's just so many details that play into it. And this season proves that that's deliberate. It's all there for a reason. I wish I had the time to do a full rewatch even because I'm sure there's just so many little details, many of which you guys have pointed out to me. Even just tiny, tiny little moments all play into the larger narrative and all are actually critical as a certain episode of season six pointed out. It's like without any of these little things, we're not even here anymore. We're just obliterated in true keeping of the theme of like everyone being a hero, meaning they all rise to their own potential and do their part even if that means growth through sacrifice, let's call it. If I have to make a prediction, I think season seven, I don't think it'll be the last season, but I think it will be the last season for this sort of discrete story, if that makes sense. Because so many things have been resolved. I'm guessing it'll be the battle with Shigaraki, although it could be two seasons, who knows. I do think Deku will save Shigaraki. I think it's important that he save Shigaraki. He might even save One for All, as, as crazy as that sounds. Or what it might look like is instead of a saving, it might be a, a Avatar, spoiler alert, Ozai type deal, where he doesn't kill him like everyone wants, but is able to drain his powers, maybe incorporating both All for One and One for All into its original package, making him basically a god on earth. But you know, there's no one better than Deku to hold it, probably. This is just sort of like my subconscious flashing at me, but I'm a little bit worried for All Might. I think he's a, he's in danger, but I can't really elaborate on why that is. And of course, there are other stories to be told in this universe after that, because it's just such a rich, expensive setup, and we got the whole um, the singularity or whatever. But I think anything after the Shigaraki story will be kind of like a reset and maybe a second My Hero Academia, if that makes sense. So unfortunately, that is the end of season six of My Hero Academia. I'm going to miss this show greatly. Thank you to everybody for supporting. Special thank you to patrons for the support. Without you guys, I couldn't be doing this at all. Shout out to those who joined the top tier recently on Patreon, Kit, JDM, Ryuga, Jin Ichimaru 3C, and Elsa8888. Thank you to you guys. Thank you to all patrons for the support. Thank you to everybody for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you either for the next show, or if not, maybe in hopefully not too long when My Hair Academia Season 7 comes out.